What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, just like last update, I want to sit down, go through the 3.1 trailer, pick it apart, and have a look at exactly what is on offer for us. Coming in like a week, I do just want to say quickly, I'm incredibly excited for 3.1. I had a feeling in the back of my mind, as soon as Sumeru came out, that 3.1, when the desert releases, is going to be my favorite region personally, and I think it's where we're going to see a lot more than we bargained for. I, I honestly do think, uh, with the writers for this story, that we're gonna get into darker territory. But on that note, let's get into the video, shall we? Thank you to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. If you're still manually recording all of your gameplay, why? Outplayed can record gameplay for you automatically for full gaming sessions, or even clip the best moments such as kills, maybe even deaths, and wins. With a full library of different games to go through such as Genshin Impact, Apex Legends, and many, many, many more, just select your game, set up your hotkeys, and get to work. Maybe you want to test out some damage in Genshin Impact, just set up Outplayed to record the gaming session, trim it down in the in-app editor, and you can even send it to your friends on Discord. Use the link in the description and download Outplayed today. Okay, obviously I've already seen this, but we're going to go through it again together. I just have a look, and, 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 and there's probably going to be a lot of pauses, but we'll see. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Already we can see what looks like a new enemy. It looks like a scorpion kind of thing. Why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? That thing to me looks like a wyvern. I had a I had a discussion with my Twitch chat about this because I was like, it looks like a dragon. And people were like, well, dragons have four legs. Uh, it looks like a wyvern, uh, but it's cool. Can a wall really block sandstorms? And the dialogue that's ongoing at the minute, why is this wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? The next line is very interesting to me. It was only after I grew up that I realized it serves a more important purpose, keeping out people like us. Who is us? This looks so We've waited beautiful. waited a long time for this day to come. It looks so beautiful. Fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the academia. Do you think- This here looks like it could be kind of a 3D rendered map. Uh, obviously on the left, you can see the pyramid. The upside down pyramid slash pyramid with an upside down pyramid and on the right it just looks like another form of ruins but the traveler is standing there looking at it looks like it could be a map of the desert interested to see where they go with that a play against the academia do you think the resurrection of the scarlet king can truly change oh, the mirror for the better the new enemies the resurrection of the scarlet king will only result in war and war serves no one Candace looks so good. I love her design. It's so, it looks very Egyptian. Obviously, you've got the eye on the back of the of the head and on the front too. Uh, the heterochromia looks incredible. Uh, it looks like a winged kind of scarab beetle, or I could be very wrong about that on her back. But another thing that I noticed is if you look at her, I want to say like pants, the bottom of the cloak, it kind of looks like Paimon's aesthetic or Dane's with the stars. I, I just think it looks really cool. I, I'm honestly in love with Candace's design. She's so cool. A shield is not enough to protect the most important things. That's why I must also wield a spear. God. <laughs> I'm still in shock yeah! that she's a four star. Do your worst. Grant us your blessing. You've betrayed Aru village. Don't do anything. Oh until God. I've gotten to the bottom of this. Our boy. Wait, th there's a better friend to pause that on. Foolish. And even Candace won't be able to protect you. Sino, the character that I have been waiting for since one of the first days that I started playing Genshin. Honestly, I've been wanting Sino ever since I saw uh, the Travail chapter storyline preview. Oh, I can't believe he's finally, finally here. And this trailer just goes into so much depth on, on what his skills are and stuff. Obviously, we don't know fully yet, or at least I don't. I don't look at leaks and I don't wish to know yet. But he looks so badass. He looks so badass and his voice is nothing what I expected. Nothing at all. Uh, but I'm incredibly impressed. Hmm. Enemy summoning enemies? I love that. Through me, justice is served. That's yeah. so cool. 
he's like an actual electro razor instead of it using physical too like and the hand wraps it, it, it's just it's mind-blowing i love his design so much if we're unhappy we should speak up and let our voices be heard Hot take here. I am not a 100% huge fan of Nilu. I expected her to be a polearm user though, not a sword user. Sword user was on like the bottom of my list. Uh, she looks cool and I will be completely honest here. Her design is flawless. The water that like comes off of her blade when she does these slashes looks incredible. The animation department excelled themselves here. I'm incredibly impressed with how she looks. I just don't know if I'd use her too much. She seems very niche. That looks so good though. Oh. <laughs> ha! Oh, she's very cool. on me. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Here we see Alhaitham outside a doggo statue. <laughs> uh, maybe it's like a temple to Anubis. Well, in Genshin terms, I'm not too sure what it is, but... I think Alhaitham's sus. He reminds me of Child a lot, and, and I think he's gonna be a, uh, you know, bad guy, kinda. Feelings of desperation are widespread. Traitors are what us followers of the Scarlet King despise the most. One yeah, of yeah. us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the Academia. This new boss looks incredible. So does this one. Those bombs look terrifying, by the way. Looks like you're gonna have to stand directly under the boss to avoid it. Um, I think the boss designs are incredible. This is very reminiscent of the of the new like dragon skywatch. I think they're called enemies that we already have. This little guy looks. He's already blasting me in the head. Um, I imagine it's gonna play something like the perpetual mechanical array. Uh, boy, it looks deadly, and I really hope we start getting actual like you know, difficult bosses in Genshin. I know, I know. It's a casual game that caters to a lot of casual players, which is completely fine. I just love bosses with mechanics or maybe even just an optional feature to artificially increase the difficulty for no extra reward, just for fun. But they do look incredible designs. Oh my God, I I'm in love with it. They look so good. This looks really cool. I, again, had a chat with my Twitch chat about this, but I don't know exactly what this is. Looks like it could be a story cutscene or something, but I would love if they added, like, uh, generated instances or maybe even just, like, a separate game mode where you've got to get to the end of a domain and, and you think of, like, Indiana Jones, you know? I know it's cliche as all hell, but, like, you get the treasure at the end and then the ruins start coming down upon you and you got to find a way out, and if you don't make it out, you don't get the reward. I think that'd be a really cool, like, mini game to add. Uh, but this looks like an incredible story cutscene. Answer me this. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? We're cheap labor. Livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. It looks like Genshin is getting a hell of a lot more action pad with 3.1 and I'm here for it. The fight with Alhaitham and Sino and then Dea and the, the other guy looks incredible. Um, but the best part of the entire trailer hasn't even shown up yet. And oh my god, I can't tell you how I lost my mind at it. <laughs> my experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. I can't believe he's finally got an in-game model and we get to meet him. And hear him and see him in the flesh. Datori, the Doctor, the Fatui Harbinger is in the game uh and his model looks absolutely incredible now it seems they can no longer hold back the little wing kind of motif on the back it looks like a cape looks incredible his hair is cool his outfit is cool his presence just there is wonderful this is what makes me think genshin's story is going to get incredibly incredibly dark and very very soon uh but i guess that's something we'll all have to wait and see they're sheer in fact let me know down in the comments do you want genshin's story to get dark or would you rather keep it the way it is with the kind of Dark undertones, but mainly happy and bubbly. Adoration. Then we see Skarmish. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>
Now, obviously, I, I say obviously, this could be completely false. It looks like Nahida is possessing Catherine's body again and gets stabbed straight through the stomach. Um, we can also see the glitches happening across the screen, which is interesting. It might mean we're in a dream. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not too sure. We'll see. I can't imagine them killing off Nahida straight away. I can't. But if they do, that's a pretty incredible sign of things that come. Um, and if they just kill Catherine, I mean, it was confirmed she's basically like a robot anyway, right? So it's not really going to be that impactful. Very curious about this, especially with the expression on Ether's face. Because he looks worried. <laughs> there is I, I cannot believe this. This, this is, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I want to know if it's got a bottom half. It looks like it's just a top half. Obviously, you've got the Inazuma style. You've got the electro vision looking thing in the middle of the chest. You've got the, the ropes coming from each shoulder plate. Uh, the top of the... The helmet actually kind of resembles his hat in a sense. Uh, I had somebody in my Twitch that said they think it is his hat and it's just turned into the robot, which I can't see. But it, I mean, it's cool. It is very cool. It is incredibly cool. And there's also something else about this that's pretty interesting. There's no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Skara doesn't have his hat on, which a lot of people have said in the past, the reason why he won't be playable is because his hat is way too big, even though it's kind of similar size to like Lisa's, but it is a little bit bigger and it'll clip into walls and stuff. And now that he doesn't have it on, it's kind of making me curious if he's going to be playable. But another thing about this is he is, if, if, you, if you look at his body, let me see if we can get a closer look at this. We can if I just go back a little bit. Let me let me show you. You can see the tubes. He is plugged into this thing, and it looks like galaxies running through it. So I'm assuming that is the power of the electronosis uh, that is powering either him or this entire bigger puppet version. Uh, but he is definitely plugged in. I'm curious if he's doing it under his own volition or if someone's forcing him to do it, aka like the Tory or something. It definitely seems like he wants to do it and he's doing it himself, but I'm really curious about how this is going to play out in the actual story and I can't wait to find out. I'm really excited. Your era is coming to an end. God, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I, I am so, so, so excited for 3.1, dude. You have no idea. Oh, yeah, and then we have this. This came out of left field for me. Completely out of left field. Varka's friend. I am Mika, surveyor of the reconnaissance company. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. Unbelievable. Does this mean the Grandmaster knew Razor's parents? Razor law. The, the one thing that we haven't, and I, I'm not going to lie, I mean, Razor was my first main in this game. I kind of forgot <laughs> that we don't know basically anything about him apart from that he's from Wol well, lives in Wolvendom and, and, and the, the relationship with the, wol the Wolf Lord. Um, very interesting. Also, Mika does kind of... Okay, I hold on. am Mika. Mika does resemble a, at least to me, a chocobo uh, from Final Fantasy. <laughs> And I've noticed a couple of other people say the same thing as well. I'm Real Dreamer and a couple of other content creators. Uh, he does. The little tuft of hair is cute, but it, all I can think of is a chocobo, dude. Um, I do want to say as well, looking at his design, he's got a cryo vision on his glove. It definitely looks cryo and not animal. I mean, I, it could be wrong, but it looks cryo. I think you can even see the snowflake, but I could be wrong. Surveyor of the reconnaissance company. And on his back, he has like a book with a with a with a quill, right? So maybe our first cryo catalyst user. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. He's so cute. Does this mean the Grandmaster knew Razor's parents? Varka Law and Razor Law. I'm hoping we get both. And it also concerns me that we're getting Razor Law on the patch that Sino comes out as well, and they are both very inspired by like wolves, dogs. Uh, you know. Uh, are they going to be related somehow? Maybe like by like a long bloodline? Fill up the barrels and store them away. This is then so wait, cute. Wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. Riz is so innocent. <laughs> <laughs> 
I thought Dear this was going to be Ludi Harp Austin. Let us now open the wines. But it's a totally the Animal Archon. Totally brand new festival, which I'm just as excited for. We also have the updates and stuff, but I'm not going to go through that because uh, that's that's basically everything that we saw on the live stream. I just wanted to do an in-depth dive onto the trailer and see if we might have missed anything. Honestly, I don't think there's much that I missed in this one, but if I did, let me know down in the comments below. I'm also going to be chatting about the anniversary rewards and stuff in maybe a separate video because I feel like there's quite a lot to talk about there and jump into. I'm just incredibly excited for 3.1, and I really hope everybody is too. I'm actually nearing my one-year Genshin anniversary which is incredible. I never thought I would have this wonderful community of people here on YouTube and over on Twitch to share all of these experiences and memories with. I'm incredibly grateful and I honestly cannot wait to delve into 3.1. Something to give back a little bit is I am going to be giving away a guaranteed Sino as well. To be in with a chance of winning that, all you got to do is follow the Twitch channel, be there on the day of release of 3.1, and I will be giving away a guaranteed copy of Sino in the chat. Just need to log onto your account, top up with the newly reset store, and do the wishes for you. Again, if you'd like to be in with a chance, just make sure you join the Twitch channel on the day of 3.1. I'll be doing the Archon quest, but first of all, it'll be the guaranteed Sino giveaway. Thank you all for sitting through that with me. I'm honestly lost for words at 3.1. There's a lot more that I could talk about, but I just wanted to do that for now. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.